वेलकम टू पार्ट टू ऑफ इजी टू अफोर इट्स ऑलवेज बेटर टू लर्न फ्रॉम ट्रस्टेड एंड सर्टिफाइड पर्सन रैदर दैन अनसर्टिफाइड पर्सन बिकॉज लर्निंग फ्रॉम अनसर्टिफाइड पर्सन कैन पुट यूर रिस्क ऑफ पैसिंग दिस एग्जाम और राइट दिस क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट एज अ फंक्शन ऐप लेट्स लुक एट द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट दैट इज एज अ ब्लॉब स्टोरेज डिक्लेरेटिव कनेक्शन वेन एवर वी इन्वो के फंक्शन triggers acts like bindings these bindings indeed provide a declarative way to connect to the data to code hence trigger looks good here we'll move this let's look at the statement too that is enable programmers to write functions using go language if we read the statement carefully there is a need to create function in go language hence custom handler fits here we'll move this and log these as the correct answer for this okay this question is about storage accounts let's look at azure portal as per the question we need to automate the process portal is not meant for automation instead partial or cli can come in handy in such situations hence we can reject this let's look at option b that is azure import export azure import export service is used to securely import large amounts of data to azure blob storage and azure files by shipping disk drives to an azure data center in the question there is no mention of the size of the data if we read the question can be in kilobytes or megabytes as well hence we can reject this since we don't know the size of the data let's look at option c that is easy copy cli utility since cli is mentioned and easy copy moves data into and out of the azure storage this can be the potential answer because it's related to storage account in any way let's look at option d that is azure blob storage since blob storage cannot help in automating the data movement as per number 2 hence option d looks incorrect we can reject this and if you look at the official documentation it's written easy copies command line tool that moves data into and out of the azure storage as required by the question and hence we can log this as a correct answer all right this question is related to filter types let's look at the first statement that is coming orders and if you look at this table and uh, the coming orders we find that it's not based on any property instead it depends on feature or unpredictable property hence correlation filters looks good we'll move this let's look at the second statement that is national orders and if you look at the table of the national orders we find that it depends on at least one property or where condition technically we can say that is state should not be california sql filter looks good we'll move this let's look at the third that is generic order and if you look at this table now it's meant just for audit purpose hence we don't require any kind of filter therefore no filter looks good and we'll log these as a correct answer for this all right this question is very simple and straight forward quick tip for the exam whenever you see keywords like open id connect think about validate jwt policy and you should get your answer since option a contains validate jwt hence we'll keep this and reject the rest and if you look at the official documentation as well it's certain that pre authorized request in api management with validate jwt policy and there is the xml code that is validate jwt is under open id config and we'll lock a as the correct answer in the interest of time all right similar question which we covered just couple of moments back and this time it's about blob let's look at statement c that is use azure blob storage life cycle management Azure Blob Storage Lifecycle Management has nothing to do with videos which are uploaded on infrequent basis as per this keyword they are instead related to storing of objects even if you change from archive to hot tier it will not solve the problem as asked in the question hence we can reject option C let's now look at option D that is use output bindings with azure functions and output binding is the data which azure function sends as per the question we don't need to send the data using functions hence this is again an incorrect choice let's now look at option a that is use easy copy seems interesting if we look at the keyword that is infrequent and it requires immediate responsiveness then easy copy won't help instead event grid topic is required as we need event based architecture which option b has hence we can reject option a 
because option B seems better. And if you look at the official documentation as well, blob storage events are posted using Azure Event Grid. And it's also mentioned that common blob storage events scenarios include images or video processing as required per, as per the question. And we can use search indexing or any file oriented workflow, asynchronous file uploads and is meant for infrequent, but your scenario requires immediate responsiveness, then we should definitely make use of it. And hence we can lock B as the correct answer for this. All right, interesting question and it's related to key vaults. Let's look at the first statement that is implement accidental deletion and retention duration of objects. If you look at both the statements, they are almost identical, but there's a difference between implement and enabling, which we'll figure out here. So as per statement one, if you want to enforce or implement purge protection then you must first enable soft delete once purge protection is implemented objects in the deleted state cannot be purged until the retention duration is over hence purge protection looks good we'll move this don't just pass your id certification pass with flying colors with my keyword tricks included in the pdf exclusively for diamond members become a member by clicking the join button now let's look at statement 2 that is enable accidental deletion and retention duration of objects if you want to retain objects for a specified duration say 120 days or even 90 days if they are deleted then you need to enable soft delete hence soft delete is the answer and if you look at the official documentation as well and a soft delete it's written that when soft delete is enabled Resource marked as deleted resources are retained for retained for specified period that is 90 days by default you can change as well and for the purge protection it's written that to enable purge protection you need to enable soft delete first we got our answer and hence we'll lock this okay this seems to be interesting question as it's related to cache purge types let's look at option A that is individual path purge there are only three types of purge types single path wildcard and root domain individual path doesn't exist hence seems to be just a distractor instead option b c and d at least they are valid options hence we can reject option a as it's invalid option let's now look at option c that is wildcard purge wildcard purge uses asterisks to purge all folders subfolders and files under an endpoint with slash asterisk in the path since in the question there is no mention of asterisk hence we can get rid of option c as well let's now look at option d that is root domain purge root domain has forward slash in the path and cannot be used to purge individual assets as per the question hence we can reject this as well and quick tip for the exam whenever you see keywords like purge individual assets then single path purge should strike in your mind if you look at the official documentation as well as mentioned by me earlier that there are three types of purge we are more interested in single path purge as per the question because purge individually as sits by specifying the full path of the asset is for single path and for wildcard we know it's somewhat asterisk and for root domain purge it's slash hence we'll lock option b as the correct answer for this all right seems interesting question as it's related to test let's look at option a that is url ping test url ping is a basic test which is required for such scenario since we require to monitor the availability of the application as per the question hence we can park this because we need to correct answer custom track ability custom track ability test is required in scenarios where we need to create a custom application to run a ability test track ability function is used to send the result to application insight in such cases as per the scenario there is no mention of custom application therefore we don't need it hence we can get rid of this as well let's now look at option c that is multi-step web test multi-step web test is a recording of sequence of web requests which is required because we need to ensure that the application should be responsive at regular intervals as per the question. Hence, this is another potential answer. We'll keep this. Let's now look at option D that is geolocation ping. There is no such thing as geolocation ping since just a distractor. We can reject this. And if you look at the official documentation, it's written that 
monitor ability with url ping test which i mentioned as a basic test and in another tab if you look at the official documentation it's written you can monitor recorded sequence of url and interactions with the website via multi-step web test we got our two answers and hence we'll log this all right this seems to be interesting question as it's related to security let's look at option a that is enable as a sentinel sentinel is used for stopping threats using ai we don't need ai as per the scenario of the question hence we can reject this let's look at option b that is enable pim pim is meant for protecting against malicious users or an authorized user inadvertently impacting a sensitive resource as per the question we don't need in the such scenario or we don't have the requirement hence we can reject this let's look at option c that is use msi manage identity allows apps to access azure active directory protected resources such as azure key vault this can be the potential answer we'll keep this let's look at option d that is save credentials on virtual machine this should be the worst option because it's never a best practice to save credentials on a virtual machine or any codes seems absurd option we can get rid of this and if you look at the official documentation it's written a managed entity from azure active directory allows your app to easily access other azure ad protected resources such as azure key vaults hence we will lock c as a correct answer for this question number 20 is related to auto scaling seems interesting because we need to choose the correct pricing tier let's look at option a that is free app service tier plan free app service tier plan doesn't support auto scaling as per the question which we need hence we can reject option a let's look at option b that is isolated app service tier plan if nothing is the answer then isolated app service tier plan becomes the answer automatically because it includes everything and is the most costliest among pricing service or tier as per the question we need to minimize the cost as well if you we look at this keyword we'll keep this option aside for the timing let's look at option c if we can get a better answer than this C says standard app service tier plan standard app service tier plan supports auto scaling as well which is required as per the question that is a good thing and it's also a cost friendly as compared to isolated app service plan hence we will reject option B because option C seems to be a better answer let's look at option D if we can get a better answer than option C option D is premium app service tier plan premium app service tier plan also supports auto scaling as per the question but the problem is that premium plan is twice costly as standard plan as per the question we need to minimize the cost that being said option c that is standard tier plan is a better fit for this question hence we can reject option d and if you look at the official documentation it's very clearly documented that for auto scaling free tier doesn't support at all it starts from standard tier that is it supported premium and isolated also supports but if you compare the cost that is for standard is 0 0.10 dollar per hour and for premium it's quite double we can see 0.20 and and for isolated it's quite a four times we can see here that it's 0.1 for standard and for isolated it almost becomes a four times which is very costly right we got to minimize the cost and hence standard looks a perfect fit and hence we'll lock c as the correct answer for this so please 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 don't go away let's meet in part 3 of az204 series and if you like the way i explain please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon because i regularly upload videos related to high paying id certification which will highly boost your it career